Welcome back to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use Snapchat Oracle Deck and we're going to use Black Hollywood Love Oracle Deck as well. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get into his energy. top of the morning let me turn this phone off hold on okay let me put it over there oh, there we go so good morning everybody make sure you push that like button and subscribe will be greatly greatly appreciated hey everybody okay I ain't going to hold it up. We're going to jump straight into this reading, okay? And Divine Feminine is looking real good on your side of the board, okay? Great things is going to happen in your life. We're going to start off with you for once, Divine Feminine. Let's, you know how they used to say, do you want the good news first or you want the bad news first, okay? So we're going to go with the good news, Divine Feminine, because... You're about to be blessed. Blessed everything you've been manifesting is going to come true, okay? And I see it right here, okay? Because real love is going to set up here and come into your life. God is about to have you cross paths with somebody that is going to honor you, love you, divine feminine, okay? Yes, you got true love coming, okay? 
Yes, okay, you got a secret admirer, okay, that's about to approach you, you're about to cross paths, okay, and you guys is going to be together non-stop 24-7, okay, that's how deep you guys' connection, you guys' love is going to be towards each other, okay, he is actually going to end up being your best friend, you got a secret admirer, okay, that loves you, okay, and Jason Lyrics is one of my favorite movies, everybody got a top seven okay and jason lyric is one of mine i just love jason lyrics i love jason lyrics okay but what i can tell you is that this relationship that's coming into your life divine feminine you're gonna be so blessed and it's gonna be heavenly sent thank you lord it's going to be heavenly sent you guys is going to have a lot of similarities and you guys is going to have a deep friendship a deep connection okay and it's just gonna feel too good to be true when this person crossed your path okay it's just god is gonna show you their true love do truly exist okay and god wants to show you that divine feminine and what you've been manifesting you deserve to have somebody to have your back that's gonna love you hold you down be able to invest in you okay and see your value okay real love is coming okay indeed okay and um it's on its way if it ain't already here okay and you guys will be together 24 7 really enjoy each other's company divine feminine looks like you're gonna be a shy at first okay but you gonna come around okay because you're gonna be able to see the abundance in the relationship a lot of similarities you guys gonna have a deep um, friendship deep connection okay and divine feminine you are very you are very good judge of character so you know everything's gonna be on the up and up for you okay whoever this high level soulmate that's coming in okay he's gonna make you feel comfortable enough to open up this is the second card okay that i see that he's gonna be loyal to you okay it's very important that somebody be loyal devoted okay and only into you you want that sacred love and that is what is on his way you're gonna know that this person loves you okay he's gonna understand your love language and most definitely he's gonna be loyal and you're gonna be loyal to him as well he is already watching you okay or oh, god for to have you cross paths with this person real love is in the horizon for you divine feminine okay and it might be somebody outside your race okay make sure that you don't sit up here and look at skin deep go on how somebody treats you how they make you feel and you look like you might be dating somebody outside your race or mixed okay but yes a high level soulmate is on the horizons for you divine feminine whoever this high level soulmate is he gonna be able to help you get your groove back okay indeed and he will sit up here and marry you he will love you he will devote himself to you he will build with you okay and god said what it's a yes okay it's gonna be a yes divine family you're gonna feel so blessed okay so honored okay it looked like both of you guys is gonna have kids you guys is going to be able to have a blended family. Look like you single with children. He's single with children. And you guys is going to be able to bring your children together. Okay. Indeed. And this looks like this relationship is going to be long term. Okay. This is going to be something long term. This is going to be him. Okay. Even though your masculine didn't do right, don't mean that somebody ain't finna come in and honor you. That's heavenly sent and picked for you okay and you deserve it divine family you deserve it all the love caring compassion that you have given to your masculine and so many others you finally don't get it back god said ain't nothing you don't went through was in vain okay nothing okay and um yeah that's what's going on with you divine feminine okay let's see what's going on with your masculine okay your masculine is still being over there being manipulated manipulated by his baby mother okay his daughter studies seeing him and his mama his, his they daughter 
is that he's seeing them argue, okay? They look, y'all remember this movie? I forgot the name of that movie, but they was both high. She was high all the time acting the fool in that movie, okay? But yeah, the daughter see a lot of dysfunctional, toxic ass shit. And whoever this karmic is, she like to manipulate the situation. And she like to sit up here and play the victim. Because this masculine is in love, okay? With you and many others, okay? This masculine is... He did. He has dealt with a lot of different women, but it looks like this masculine has is really in love with two different women, okay? Two women has have has his heart, okay, and it looks like it's you, and it looks like it's somebody else, okay, that it's hard for him to pick, okay, exactly who he wants to sit up here and be with, okay, but this masculine, he study lets his baby mama manipulate him and keep him tied to a toxic situation because he wants to be there, he wants to be there, that's his comfort zone, drama, this karmic loves manipulating the situation, okay? And she loves playing mind games with this masculine to keep him under her control, okay? Mm-hmm. This karmic be sitting up here beating the shit out of him, doing all type of shit to his ass, okay? This masculine, okay, has been sitting up here dealing with two other women as well, okay, always sitting up here falling for temptation, always up in some bitch face, okay, every time you turn around, he dealing with a different bitch, okay, and it looked like whoever this is, okay, wants to sit up here and communicate with you, okay. One or all these bitches want to reach out to you and tell you what's going on, want to give you some tea of what's going on with this masculine, okay? It looked like this masculine ended up sitting up here hooking up, where'd it go? Looked like he ended up hooking up with somebody, okay? And it looked like it'd been nothing but drama. Ever since he pulled away from you, ever since he... I mean, your masculine got it bad. Always out here sitting up here fucking around with different bitches, okay? And he currently done sat up here, been dealing with somebody that met his match, okay? This bitch is toxic and more extra than his ass is, okay? And it looked like she want to sit up here and reach out to you and tell you some shit so you don't want to get back with your masculine, okay? Because it ain't working over there with her and this masculine currently, okay? This masculine has blocked this karmic, okay? Because some shit has came out about this karmic. This masculine that got tired. He done went through a tower moment or he about to go through a tower moment and block her, okay? But what I can tell you is that it's two of this karmic's friends, okay? That is encouraging her to sit up here and tell you, call you, okay? Where'd it go? Well, yep. It's two of her musty mouth ass friends that is encouraging her to sit up here and reach out to you and tell you some shit concerning this masculine, okay? Don't fall for the bullshit, okay? This karmic ain't got no loyalty to you, okay? And just assume that everything that she telling you is a lie. This bitch is not on your team, so I wouldn't talk to her at all if I was you. What for? What is it that y'all got to discuss, okay? Uh what how much ball juice he got and how much ball juice you got at a time what is it that y'all gonna talk about okay but it looked like she want to sit up here and talk to you about some shit okay because they over there going through a whole lot of shit a lot of drama this masculine don't pull it back this masculine don't want to sit up here and deal with this karmic no more okay and um he done sat up here, done pulled away, done blocked this karmic and ain't dealing with this karmic. And she ready to sit up here and start some drama because this masculine no longer wants to deal with her, okay? It looked like this karmic done took it a little bit too far, okay? With her mind games and drama and shit and this masculine is tired of it in some type of way, okay? But yeah, it was a big tire moment to the point that this masculine sat up here and ghosted this karmic, blocked her, don't want to deal with her, okay? Because he realized that her ass is just too extra. Always some drama, always some chaos, bitch. Always want to put her hands on him. Shit always going to the next level in a toxic ass way. And this masculine done blocked this karmic and now she want to sit up here and play mind games with you. 
She want to play mind games with you and want to reach out to you and tell you some shit, okay, about um, this masculine, okay, and get some shit started between you and this masculine in some type of way. She want to reach out to you and she's been encouraged to do this by these musty mouth ass friends or family members that's trying to encourage her to get some unnecessary shit started between you and your masculine when you over the bullshit, okay? When you over the bullshit, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. This masculine and this karmic, okay, is not doing well, okay? This masculine don't want nothing to do with this karmic. He wants to sit up here and move on, and he no longer ready to sit up here and continue the relationship situationship or fucking situation that he has with this karmic it looks like if the tower moment has came down or is about to and he done blocked her ass and she wants somebody to fuck with and blame because she can't get in contact with him okay so she want to sit up here and reach out to you because this masculine has cut her ass out okay this is somebody that this masculine was sitting up here sleeping with. This is one of the bitches that he was cheating on you with, fucking around with, okay? And this is karmic, okay, that he put you in a third-party situation, okay? This bitch that thought that she was getting over, thought that she won a prize, thought that she took your man and all this shit. And now she realizing that she ain't no different than nobody else. The same way you get them is the same way you're going to lose them, okay? How you going to sit up here and think you taking somebody's man away and think that ain't nobody going to come and take him away from you, okay? What this bitch thought, okay? What she thought, okay? Mm-hmm. But this masculine ain't no longer sitting up here hooking up with this bitch. That's what I can tell you. He don't even want to fuck the bitch because he feels the bitch is so much drama, okay? It's a lot of chaos and shit going on, okay? And um, you ain't going to believe what the bitch got to tell you, okay? Uh-huh. She was she about to tell you, okay? You ain't gonna believe. She gonna get she gonna get real disrespectful with what she got to tell you concerning your masculine. You ain't gonna believe it. You gonna grab your invisible pearls, okay, on what this bitch about to tell you about your masculine, okay? Mm mm. Yeah, she ready to sit up here and start some shit, okay? So you don't want to deal with your masculine in some type of way, okay? Whoever it is that this masculine was sitting up here dealing with, this drama-ass bitch that he hooked up with, okay? Why his family and everybody know the bitch too, okay? Everybody in the family know that this masculine... And this karmic is drama, it's always chaos, it's always some shit going on, okay? And his family know exactly who this is, okay? As well, everybody know who this bitch is, okay? She could be a baby mother, okay? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, but what I do know is that this masculine wants to sit up here and come back and sit up here and spend some quality time with you. He want to reach out to get to you before this karma get to you, okay? Missing you, fiending for you, wishing that he can talk with you, be in your energy, have your um, compassion right now, okay? Yeah. This masculine want to sit up here and talk to you about working things out. He want to sit up here and see if you're willing to work things out and try again with him, okay, after he done fucked over you, okay? This masculine is being disrespected by this karmic, okay, on social media. She talking about this masculine like a fucking dog, talking about he's he a pushover, he don't stand up for himself. She doing all type of shit to make him look little, you know, on um, social media, your masculine could be little, okay? But what I do know is that she has a whole lot to say about this masculine to the point that this masculine had no other choice but to block her, okay? Because she's showing her ass. 
in a real way okay she is okay this karmic might even sit up here and reach out to you on social media too she might air his dirty laundry to you on social media reach out to you in email text whatever but what i do know is something that she wants to sit up here and say to embarrass him in some type of way okay mm-hmm and it looked like she want to sit up here and let you know something that's concerning his health. Something that's going on with this masculine's health, okay? This is why God, spirit is has forced the ending, okay? God is protecting you. I don't know what's going on with your masculine. I don't know what the doctors have found out, but God is protecting you. His rejection was damn sure your protection, okay? And God wants you to know to sit up here and pump your brakes if you're thinking about getting back with your masculine, okay? Something is going on with his health, okay? He might not have no SCD. Maybe his street meat won't get aroused no more. Maybe something, maybe he got cancer. Something is going on with this masculine to the point that this karmic wants to expose him in some type of way, okay? And God is protecting you from whatever this masculine got going on concerning his health currently, okay? So be aware. And this karmic finna tell it all, okay? Look like this masculine was out here sitting up here hooking up with all these different ass women, okay? And almost good seven, ten of them, maybe more, okay? And look like this masculine that got caught something, okay? And everybody on his ass about it, probably, okay? The sister wives, okay? Who knows? But what I do know is this masculine ain't ready for you. God say he ain't ready for you because something is going on with his health and God has sat up here and enforced the ending. This is why God is bringing you new love. This is why God is bringing you new love, okay? So God wants you to be careful. Be careful with dealing with your masculine coming forward. Talking about he want to work things out. Be careful on trying to sleep with your masculine or letting him sleep with you. Talking about he wants a quality time, okay? Divine Feminine, it says, I always feel like somebody's watching me. Be careful of fake pages, okay? Okay, yes, Divine Feminine, so many people watching you, okay, trying to get you caught up in unnecessary ass shit, okay, you got a lot of eyes on you, okay, somebody could have even went to the authorities and lied on you about something, but the good thing is, Divine Feminine, you ain't got nothing to worry about, because when you ain't doing nothing wrong, you ain't got nothing to worry about, okay, that's the good part of it all, okay. Continue to keep running the course, no matter who watching you, no matter what nobody got to say, you keep moving forward. You keep staying prayed up and keep on moving forward and not looking back, okay? Don't trip on none of the drama, okay? Because God finna bless you, okay, with a financial windfall, okay? God said he gonna make you have so much money, he gonna bless you in your endeavors to the point that you ain't got to worry about nothing. Let your success speak for itself okay you ain't got to argue with these musty mouth ass bitches okay about nothing concerning your life okay what's going on in the background okay let, let them let them take it up with god okay you stay on the up and ups this is why you done with the bullshit divine film you done you done with the bullshit and the drama okay mm-hmm yeah Divine Masculine said he wished that he would have ride it, wrote it out with you, okay? This Masculine said that he just ready to um, co-parent with this karmic and not sit up here and be tied to her. His family kept a lot of unnecessary bullshit going on between you and him, okay? Mm -hmm. And this Masculine is done sitting up here dealing with this karmic that like to play mind games, okay, with him, okay? This karmic know that this Masculine, okay, is kind of slow. Okay, this masculine like to be liked so bad that he put himself in fucked up ass situations, okay? And this karmic like to play on that, okay? And this is why the masculine is waking up, realizing that this karmic is really sitting up here, you know, mentally abusing him, which he is, okay? Because this masculine want to be liked so bad, like I said, he put himself in fucked up ass positions. But thank God, better late than never, he's finally blocking this karmic. 
He's realizing that she likes to play games and manipulate him. And he no longer want to deal with her, okay? At least one of his karmics he not, because it's a lot of them, okay? One by one, he's sitting up here letting go of all these different bitches, okay? That's one, that's two. Then he got the crazy baby mama, that's three, okay? Uh-huh. Then he got the other one, that... Okay, that's four, then five, okay, and on and on. And his family know all about all these different ass bitches, okay, for real. Clown ass, but I ain't mad at you, okay. Yeah, Divine Masculine always putting himself in fucked up ass positions, okay. Fucking with the wrong fucking people. And his family, they ain't about shit because they won't sit up here and open their mouth to make sure that they help him and lead him in the right direction to the shit that he don't and the shit that he do need to be doing okay they they like keeping him in fucked up ass situations but like i said slowly but surely he going through these tower moments and he learning these karmic lessons he is and he's starting to one by one cut these people out of his life but really god is because this masculine wouldn't Really, God has stepped in and cutting people out his life, letting him sit up here and see, okay, exactly how people really is, okay? Mm -hmm. And his masculine's realizing that his family played a big part in shit, too, and he cutting out his family as well, okay, on manipulating him on bullshit, lying, trying to sit up here and live his life for him, okay? Everybody got one life to live, okay? And this masculine got to stop letting people dictate his moves and his life, okay? He, when he got to live with the consequences and the pain and the emotions of the different things that other people, okay, have made for him. The decisions that other people have made for him and he left holding the bag. He got to sit up here and stop trying to fit in and fit in with God, okay? All that effort that he do to fit in with family and friends and bitches, he need to put that effort into sitting up here fitting in with God because that's where it's at, okay? He study looking for this and that within family and friends and everybody else when what he looking for is within God. And that's what the masculine need to wake up and see, okay? And this is why God is sitting up here forcing the ending until he understands that lesson, okay? Let me get this deck and see what else. Let me move these over. But what I can say, Divine Family, you got great things happening coming in, okay? You got an abundant love coming in that's going to love you, okay? All the pain, all the tears, all the heartache that you done went through. Finally, somebody finna have your back just like you done had everybody else's back over the years. Finally, you going to get what you have given out to so many. All that love and nurturing and friendship and just being, you know, down to earth and having everybody back, you finally finna get that back in return, okay? And you so shy, y'all both gonna be shy, okay? Y'all both is on the same page, you know, y'all both looking for the same things, okay? Great things is finna happen in your life, Divine Feminine, okay? With this new love, okay? An abundant love, heavenly scent, okay? Heavenly scent, a lot of similarities deep friendship okay and you're gonna be able to have a good judge of character and god gonna let you know that that's the one that's the one that you're supposed to be building with okay and guess what y'all gonna be together 24 7 the loyalty that you and this man is gonna share you the great things that you guys is gonna be able to do together Okay, you just going to be the best. You are already your best you right now, but you always can be better. Okay, especially having somebody that got your back, somebody that you ain't got the question, somebody that you know that's loyal to you, somebody that you can build with, somebody that just understands the assignment, somebody that really is ready to sit up here and be loved. Y'all both going to be ready to be loved the correct way. He going to give you what you need and you going to give him what he needs need okay y'all gonna feed off each other in a healthy relationship okay great things is gonna happen okay and this masculine is gonna open you up okay because you know you don't trust nobody divine family 
he gonna make you feel comfortable to the point that you can open up and you know why you gonna open up because the chemistry and the similarities that you and him is gonna have that he gonna make you sit up here and feel comfortable to do so he gonna earn your love he gonna court you he gonna understand your love language okay yes love do come out the heartbreak yes indeed okay love does come out the heartache okay mm -hmm. out the heartbreak okay you done with that whitney and bobby shit and the cheating shit okay that shit is done you done went through hell and back you done learned your lesson you know what you don't want and you know what you do want okay and new love is coming it is love after heartbreak okay show is mm -hmm. indeed indeed yes you're gonna be happy that you released the bullshit okay mm -hmm. divine masculine like dealing with bitches over there acting crazy acting stupid he over there dealing with somebody young immature okay that don't know how to love that don't know how to deal with her fucking emotions and shit okay mm -hmm. he loved dealing with that on and off crazy toxic ass shit that shit that you don't want no parts of okay mm-hmm Yes, you're going to be able to build Divine Feminine, a sacred bond, okay? And the way that this man is going to care for you, ooh la la, ooh la la, okay? Mm -hmm. And the spiritual connection that you and him is going to sit up here and have, that's why I said new new that's coming is going to be heavenly sent from god personally okay this man is going to bend and get the work just like you he going to be open to new love he going to be past the bullshit and he going to be looking for the same characteristics that you was looking for and guess what god is going to let y'all cross paths and everything going to be a okay okay so don't trip yeah your masculine out here doing this and doing that don't let it get you upset Thank God that God loves you enough to send you somebody that's going to love you and honor you. Somebody that's going to understand assignment. Somebody that has done the work, okay, just like you have, okay. An uh, empress deserve an emperor, okay, that's on the up and ups, that already understands. You ain't got to put them together, okay. He come and put together, just like you going to show up, put together. And God finna let y'all cross each other's paths. You'll see, okay. You going to feel as though you was made for each other. It's going to feel like your other half. It will be your other have not feel it will be your other half okay show will yes 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 okay good news is on the horizon okay mm -hmm. the way that he gonna make you feel oh mm. the way your heart gonna be the way you just know when you get butterflies the way this oh just the way he gonna kiss you and make you feel oh my god you know you don't even like to kiss Divine Femme, not unless you like really into somebody. You going to feel comfortable kissing again, okay? Mm-hmm. In time, in time, okay? While your Divine Masculine study going on, dealing with temptation-ass bitches up to no fucking good, okay? Mm-hmm. Yes. Divine Femme, you done grown so much, okay? Yes. You such a good person and God wants to bless you, okay? But yeah, that's what the 411 is with this reading and I'll be back with another one. Don't forget to push the like button and subscribe if you need special prayer. Feel free to reach out through the comments and leave detail exactly what you need the prayer to indicate or you can reach out to my email which is innocencetarot at gmail.com. Once again, that's innocencetarot at gmail.com and I will put you in the special prayer book, okay? I love each and every one of you guys and I'll be back with another reading, okay? Bye.